Hey guys, back with another tutorial, this time looking at Filmic Pro. This example is shot 9x16 for IGTV, but this will of course work with 16x9 as well. If you've used Filmic Pro for very long, you've likely used presets. If you're new to Filmic Pro, you should absolutely start doing this. We use a lot of presets ourselves, and they're really easy to set up. First thing you would do is choose the resolution. We're shooting 4K and we're using Filmic Extreme, the 100 megabit data rate. Then we set up our frame rate. We're gonna do 60 frames per second here for some slow-mo. And then importantly for playback, you wanna set it to 24 frames per second. At least that's what we're using. That way you'll get slow motion conformed in Filmic Pro. You won't have to mess with it in your editor. Now, we can't use the cinematographer's kit on 4K60, but we can set our white balance. And here I'm gonna choose daylight. So you go back into the preset area and add a new preset. Then we'll type in a name. We're gonna do 4K 60 frames per second. Daylight, white balance, WB for white balance, and save it. Now that preset has been added. So we'll click on it, load it, and now we'll double check the settings. Resolution, 4K, Filmic Extreme. Frame rate, 60p with 24 playback. And white balance is daylight, great. So let's say you have a piece of hardware that you connect to your phone, like a, an adapter, a lens adapter, or a gimbal like the Osmo. Well, you can do that too. We'll set this up 4K. This time we'll do 24 frames per second. Regular playback. And now you select hardware and you can choose here, like Moondog. You wouldn't do that for this 9x16, of course, but we'll do Osmo. That way the Osmo Mobile will interact with Filmic Pro. And on this one, we can use the cinematographer's kit because we're shooting 24 frames per second. In this example, we're gonna choose to shoot in flat. And so then you go to the presets, save the current settings as a preset, type in the name you want, 4K24P flat, and this time we left it in an auto white balance. And we'll add Osmo. Load the preset, and now you're ready to shoot. Now, what if you want to delete one of these presets? It's really simple too. Go in, swipe to the left, delete, and they'll ask you whether you want to delete local or local in the cloud. We deleted from both the local and the cloud, and you'll get this warning if you've used Filmic Sync. So what is Filmic Sync? Filmic Sync simply saves your presets in the cloud. You create an account with Filmic Pro, and every time you create a preset, you hit sync and it saves it to the cloud. That way when you uninstall the app, and reinstall it, your presets will come back. You won't have to do all this again. Or you get a new phone, same thing. You install the app, all your presets will come down from the cloud. It's really great and it's free. So that's adding presets to Filmic Pro. Whether you're a longtime user or a brand new user, this is something you should really incorporate. It'll save you a lot of time and frustration when you're on location. Definitely take advantage of this and use presets.